If you don't hear the signs of local election season in Turkey, then surely you'll see them. Everywhere you look, billboards, banners, and bunting, the many, many faces of the candidates, and one prominent face who isn't on the ballot at all, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Erdogan's AK Party is aiming to win back Istanbul after losing it in 2019 in a bitterly contested and eventually rerun election won by this man, Mayor Ekrem Imamoglu. He's from the opposition CHP party and is now Erdogan's most powerful rival, who pundits think will have the clout to challenge his party in the next presidential race, especially if he can win back his job as mayor this weekend. I promise you that in Istanbul there will be a whole new level of trust and accountability, he says. Local elections come at a time when the economy is sputtering, inflation is out of control, and interest rates just hit 50 percent. I voted for the AK party twice, but I won't this time, Ismet says. What can a retired person do with a 10,000 lira pension? Rent is 15,000. I can't pay the rent on my house. <laughs> There are dozens of candidates vying to be the mayor of Istanbul, and the outcome of this election will depend heavily on what happens with the smaller parties, from the left-wing pro-Kurdish Dem party to the ultra-nationalist Victory Party, and trust me, there are plenty of others in between. And all of these smaller parties will be siphoning off support from the main two, the incumbent mayor and the secular CHP party, and President Erdogan's more religious conservative AK party. Across town, the former bureaucrat and minister Murat Karoum is rallying AK Party supporters. He has few personal ties to Istanbul, but plenty of support from President Erdogan. This is a Murat Karoum promise, he says. This is a Recep Tayyip Erdogan promise. Do you feel like you're voting for Murat Kurum or really just voting for an extension of Tayyip Erdogan? Of course, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Azge tells us. We love him with all our hearts. No mortal out there is comparable to him, but Imamoglu actually forces that myth. What happens if Imamoglu wins? So Erdogan will feel probably compelled to run himself. He would be the only sort of political gladiator out there who would be able to win uh, an up-and-coming candidate like uh, Imamoglu. The next presidential election isn't until 2028, but if Imamoglu wins, the unofficial campaign season may start this weekend. Scott McLean, CNN, Istanbul.